Carnival is in the air without question. Let me welcome my next guest. He is uh, Michael Joseph. He's the PRO for Pan Trimbago and president of the Southern Marine Steel Orchestra of San Fernando. The theme of, um, the, 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 the theme of Panorama this year, prophetic as it seems, transformation in steel. First of all, let me, let, let me welcome you. Hi, how are you, sir? Hi, good morning, man. Good uh, it morning, is good to have folks. you, man. How are you making out? How are you making out this day? I know you were out there last night. Well, good morning to Music for Life, all the listeners around the world. Yes, indeed. Thank yeah. you very much. And our folks can stream us on yeah. Ojo. Today at 3 o'clock, the activities continue. But last night, uh, there was action going on. Tell us about what, what happened yes. last night and what's happening the today. The Panorama has actually begun in the Tobago on Thursday, Thursday mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. Yes. Metro Stars kick off the first note for Pan, and you know, unless the steel band song, you know, no kind of no start. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So Metro Stars did us the honor in Tobago, and then we had the following night in Trinidad, the Jaroots of Point Forte. They kick off the segment in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. So the Carnival is on, the Panama is on, the Greens is on, everything is on. Uh, let's see, 24, you, what, what do we have happening today? Uh, we've got uh, 20, 24 bands performing today, is that correct? Or is it, uh, or is it uh, 20, let's see, uh, North, North Area, mm, well, it continues well, I, into I do Tuesday. have a full itinerary here for you. Now. Yeah, just run down, run, run down for me what's going on today, because I know a lot of folks want to go out at 3 o'clock this afternoon and get to enjoy the Eastern Region, so tell us about that. The Eastern Region, Sunday 22nd. Yes. We start Northeastern Stars, Northeastern All Stars. That is Six Nectar Avenue, Sandy Grandi. Staff, sa Staff Sapphire, Gills Rum Shop, Eastern Main Road, Valencia. Pan Stereo Nets, Jacob Hill, Wallerfield. And we can go on and on, but we start at 3 o'clock mm -hmm. at Northeastern Stars. All right, that's what's happening from 3 o'clock this afternoon. How many bands altogether performing? We said, is it 20? 20, 20, tonight 20? you will have 12 bands. 12 bands tonight. Yeah, 12 bands tonight. And explain the, something the, to me because... you're just busy. Okay, and it goes into, it goes beyond today for this. Uh, is this something Monday and Tuesday also? Well, what we have been doing now is judging in the pan yards. In the pan yard itself, yes. yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have the judges going around to the different pan yards. And um, the different regions, we set dates for them. Some All regions right. are calling the number of the band. You have mm. three nights or two nights, as, as the case may be. To be got one night because uh, the amount of bands in the single pan band se segment. Well, that's always a good thing to, um, to, to have the judges go out to the pan yards itself. I yes, mean, it, that, it, that, it that, that the makes the, the world community, a sense. Get the community a sense of alive. And the guys are get, performing get kind of at, the, the guys are performing at home, man. Yeah, and they well, get their um, community. What I can around. say is that the Tobago band sent a message already. They come out to represent. They mm -hmm. make a joke with mm -hmm. them. They start mm -hmm. with a bang. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so they come out to represent. Are all the uh, registrants participating, or have you had any withdrawals um, from what initially the, the bands well, had initially I, registered? I don't think we have had any withdrawals in the sense mm -hmm. that um, <clears throat> it's a complicated issue, but a number of bands have some domestic problems, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. um, they become non starters. Now, you have to remember that Carnival is yearly at a particular time. Mm -hmm. Within the carnival, you have a certain segment, Panorama, mm. Mars, Kaiso, you know? If you do so and you miss this year, your next chance is next year. Mm -hmm. If you miss next year and so on, that's how it go. So there's no excuse really for your unpreparedness of missing this year. None uh -huh. whatsoever. So the owners have not been uh, prepared, not being ready for it. Is the, is all the fault of the band? Of course it is. Of course happen. it is. Michael Joseph is my guest. He's a PR yeah. of Pan Trimbago. What major changes are Pan enthusiasts expected to experience this year, Michael? What different this year from last year? <laughs> That's a trick question. Boy. <laughs> that one is <laughs> try, a trick question. Try not to make it too because, tricky. Because um. I'm not, I'm not talking about the, the, the NCC and anything with the gates and so on. I'm talking about specifically the panels themselves going through the route, going through their routine. What can they expect differently? Well, the majority of bands playing what they call new music. The majority of bands, they're playing new music. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. So that, that is a, a... But that's optional. That's not mandated. No, it's not. It's, it's not, optional. It's mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. And um, past couple of years, the bands went more for the classics going back in times. Mm -hmm. But um, most of the bands now want to move forward to attract the youths. So they're playing mm -hmm. the, youths, the music the youths gravitate into. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. We're going to have a, a whole lot of jamming still going on. That is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the UK is, is Carnaval. Carnaval is Bacchanal. Yeah. You know? Talk to me, by the way, about the Greens. The Greens are back in play? Yes. We so have tell the, us about that. We, the Greens is running uh, up and running again. We have the Pussies already lining up. Right? And um, we compact it more this year. We make it smaller. And the, the price is... To look for my price chop. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, it's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper it's this attractive. year. And I, and I wondered uh, have, because you have a yeah. reduction in prices in addition to you have prizes being to accompany uh, people who get in there early. Some folks yes. are getting drinks, some folks are getting beer, some people are getting rum, some people are getting water and stuff. Why is this? Is this because the interest has been falling down? Is that the reason why these incentives are there? Or, or is it truly just as stated in the press release, recognition uh, uh, of, the, of, the, of, of the change of economic circumstances, why the prices are cheaper? Have you recognized that people are more gravitating to the all-inclusive? All-inclusive? Rhetorical, yes. Yes, yes, I yes, got you. So mm-hmm. we, we, we join in the... the I see. Yeah. I see. So it's a basically, yes. in the, you have an adjustment in prices, but really you're putting together a, a, a semi-all-inclusive, a, 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 a package as it yeah, were. We pack, all right, right, all right. Giving more bang for the buck, as it were, right? Mm. But um, in, 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 in doing that, I have to come down to something that I don't know if you are in a position to answer. Many folks have been uh, looking at it. You are the PRO of Antrim Bago. And just to be clear, just to be clear, what is the arrangement made between the NCC and Pantrim Bego? What, what are the rules? What essentially has changed, not behind the door so much, but more importantly to what people will see? Is it going to be seamless? I mean, I, I know that they are responsible for the receipts. Pantron Bigo has to be ex- the expertise to man the doors and collect and so on. They will be collecting on the front end, but NCC will be getting the money. Is that, is that, that the understanding? As we speak now, my brother, the president acting and the treasurer is meeting with the chairman of NCC mm-hmm. to hammer out a lot of these areas, these gray areas, ah, pretty gray areas. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And... Um, it's sad. So it is not definitive. Uh, in fact, the press release that uh, the statement made by Kennedy Silva, because he did make the statement that uh, the NCC will be handling all the funds. You're saying that that is still being hammered out. That is not definitively so. Well, Panjin Bigo has not agreed to that. Panjin Bigo has not written off that that issue. Um, <clears throat> we believe we have a certain right, and it should be respected. Mm. Right, and. Um, the action of the NCC mm. has placed us in a position where a lot of thoughts go into the minds of the membership in the sense that we see the three interest groups that are being controlled in a particular way. Yes, Calypso, Pan, and uh, Masquerades. You have, you have it clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we wonder, well, why are these interest groups under attack? After all the years of carrying this thing to bring it to this stage it's reached now, where we we we, we structured to globalize, especially in this situation of the steel pan, mm-hmm. we have been coming through the ranks over the years, managing it, bringing it up to this stage where today we still emphasizing on 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 the the performance the the. the but we're going into the manufacturing aspect of the thing. We're industrializing the pan. Mm-hmm. We do so and we head on to globalizing. We make contact. We had the world Panorama and Festival in Trinidad and Tobago. We brought the world of pan in Trinidad and Tobago mm-hmm. as a little organization coming from the ground. Right? And within that environment, you start, you start to see a set of red herrings start to come up. Red herrings being placed in the way. They can't do nothing. They can't manage nothing. Take it from them. Give it to the businessmen. And we among ourselves are asking, well, what kind of logic is that? Which businessman you ever see open a business to benefit his employees? You have something in your hand that you have developed from the ground, and you want to take it away from you and give it to somebody else to, f- to serve your purpose, something is wrong with that. You've made a number of, uh, 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 of statements inside of that. There's a lot said in what you, what you have said thus far. Let me just go back just for a moment. Folks yeah. are saying, okay, on the one hand, it, it is true. 
Pantron Bego has been there for the Pan Man for a long time. But what the confrontation that happened this year alone shows that there is disgruntled, there are disgruntled members of the organization who were not paid um, for for their performance last year. That might seem to be so. You see, a story does be. <laughs> It's have three sides to the story I always hear. Of course. <laughs> Your side, my side, and the truth. True. Right? And if truth be told, I mean, as we always say, we are not the kind of organization that we're washing our dirty linen in public. Understood. We don't see anybody else doing that. Anybody mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. And we don't see anybody else called to do that. So we, feel, we don't feel it's necessary that we should be doing that. In, in, indeed, but the only reason I asked the question is because you said Heron started showing up and people started saying, well, I need to get this and we need to control this and this. And, and they counted. So some folks will say, well, if you're looking at what is reportedly $31 million that is in debt for an organization, that is the reason why it should be removed from them, um, m many would say. $31 million in debt. <laughs> reportedly. Um, reportedly, yes. Yeah, well, um, when I want to say, I want to state categorically mm -hmm. that if we have, if we have 31 million in debt, right, it's not an account of corruption. Mm. It's an account of events staged by the organization as they should do and promised by governments that they did not keep. So, I mean, and then 31 million is a drop in the, in, in the ocean. What is that about? I saw a, a contractor suing the government for one point something billion, a, a medium-sized contract, not a big one, mm -hmm. you know? Panch and Bego is an organization, the world governing body for steel pan. And we are as ambitious as any other bodies, any other corporate entity. We have ambition, you know? So all the acquisitions are not necessary. I also see, well, we, the organization, also saw that the first budget, the government saw it fit to bequeath 15 million to the unions for institutional strengthening. That is noble. What about Panch and Big who come from the ground, drag up themselves from the ground to reach to where they are now? Have you ever thought it fit to look at them and say, let's put something in there for institutional strengthening and capacity building? Question to you, is it not true that the government for many years have, in fact, been contributing towards the operation of Panch and All right, let me let, me, let, me, let, me let you know now. Mm -hmm. All these millions that we just get every year, 30 million, that is prize monies mm -hmm. and operational cost. Prize monies. The government don't give Panch and Bigo a subvention to run their affairs. We have four regions plus the central executive, five offices to run, the world governing body for Pan, right? Coming out of these prize monies, the membership agreed that in light of the fact that we don't have a subvention, we must take 10% from whatever monies is collected. They, yes. Mm -hmm. To run our affairs. Mm -hmm. And we have been doing that. And quite successfully so. We, we, um, we, we just opened a pan factory, a pan construction factory, putting drums together to get the, the, the tuners away from these chemical drums that have been killing them over the years and nobody looking after them. Today, we have opened a factory to assemble drums for the instrument with special with special a special kind of material that was worked on by Professor Copeland and others at the university. And that is in progress right now. Anybody ever ask, how are you all doing that, boy? Where you all get money to do that? But, but, but Michael Joseph, the PR of for Pan Rebego, is my guest here. The question is, your line ministry, your line ministry seems to be uh, not kept in the loop by Pantron Bego, or at least not in agreement I'm with Pantron Bego sure. with those things that you're saying. Because if, in fact, one, a couple of things you said, one, 30 uh, odd million dollars, if, if that is the case, is a drop in the bucket. Two, you are the world organization for Pan, and as such, one should see the importance of getting this going, in addition to initiatives that you have instituted. If was this information passed on to the line minister in. <laughs> I mean, we I need like, to understand. I, I like the question. I like the question. Yes. But um, Panch and Bego over the years have done nothing without confronting or consulting the line minister. Panch and Bego is part of the Ministry of Culture. Mm. Auntie Jones used to say, you all are an extension of my ministry. And the things you all are doing, my officers should be, but they can't do everything. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate what you all are doing. Right? Um, we have had some kind of impasse coming out of a resignation and a lot of allegation has been made about the organization. And since then, since then, my organization wrote 
over six letters from meeting with the minister. We shouldn't even be doing that. Mm. If you are my child and the neighbor come and tell me you indulge in some stupidness down the road, of course, immediately, Renny, come here. What am I hearing? Let's talk. That mm -hmm. has not been done as we speak now. Mm -hmm. you know, and that, it had me wondering. So you have not had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the line minister, your organization, is that what no, you're saying? Sir, no, sir. But the I'm line minister that, yes, also sir. said that she inquired of some of the expenditure um, put out by Pan Trinbago, which deal with um, m money that was paid to bands in Tobago, and she said that information was not forthcoming. Was there a problem there? Do you know of, uh, uh, of such a claim? No, these are areas for the treasurer, but um, okay. the little I could... What I know is that 2016 was the first time we had so many Tobago bands mm -hmm. come in. And um, it's kind of all the time you're talking about, hotels, accommodation, whatever. So you have to cater mm -hmm. for that early. So out of the subvention, very early we realized that we'll have to, we, we end up with a shortfall because we have to see about the accommodation for the Tobago bands. Mm -hmm. So on doing that immediately, we informed the ministry. All these things are there, the records are there, the paper trail. You know. Uh, here the bottom line really is, eh? uh, let, me, let me tell you the bottom line, because we, we're pulling out the red herrings that I talk about. Mm -hmm. The bottom line, there's a battle between Kambule and Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, and this reality, as hard as my song, Mardi Gras is ready to take back the space that Kambule has carved out for themselves. There's a classist um, uh, statement you're making there. Yes, um, got gotcha. you. Okay, we go live ahead. It, we live it, we experience <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. We experience it. The Cambole is the working class and the and, and the Mardi Gras is yeah. the um, privilege, is what you're saying. Yeah, now that we have brought this thing to the kind of, uh, of industry that it should be. Mm. It's a billion dollar industry facing us now, you know, the steel pan. Some people feel that we, sh we can't run business, we can't do nothing. We must be the, the, the workers, the performers. We can't say like certain top executives in this country, pay yourself. We, we mustn't talk that kind of language. All right, let me hold you up there just for a minute, um, mm -hmm. um, 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 Mr. Cooper, because uh, Mr. 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 Joseph, I'm Mr. sorry. Joseph. Let, let me say that I, I am buying I am buying everything that you have said, I don't want and, to and I have no reason to contradict it. Let, okay. I have no reason to contradict okay, I appreciate it. appreciate that. Uh, what, what, what I will ask you is this. Something as, uh, as important to your organization as paying panmen, for the last year, why was it allowed to get this far out of hand to create the kind of confrontation that we had? Because what you're talking about is a, a way bigger picture, and I'm, I'm very happy that you okay. made it clear this morning. There are some areas you mentioned we uh, did not know about, so I'm All glad right, that God. you made that clear. But a, a simple thing, you, you said you always want to make sure that your household is taken care of. You know that. Okay. So so there are panels who performed last year. They were waiting for their money. One, they didn't get it until it, uh, they, 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 they made a big protest. Well, we know this story. Let me, let me okay. let me know this story. Go ahead. Right. Number one. We're speaking about Pan Bego, the world governing body for Pan, Steel Pan. I and members of my executive, the majority of them, cannot see Panorama and $1,000 defining the organization. Right? Over the years, the subvention has always been coming short. That's to take care of the carnival event. Mm -hmm. It's always been coming whenever they feel to give it. So we have never been able to pay the department timely or to make this contribution timely. And to us, a pay, that's the wrong word. This contribution is not a payment for playing the pencil. The history of this contribution came out in the days when there were no categories mm -hmm. for the band. You had 12 finalists. Panchin Bego was able to Panchin Bego was able to negotiate. Panchin Bego was able to negotiate with certain sponsors to give an incentive to the members, of the players of the first six finalist bands, mm. which they did two hundred dollars. Right? After a while, the the goodly secretary still there, Mr. Richard Photo started to agitate that all the panelists put in the same effort. So spread it out, give, them, give everybody a little two. Mm -hmm. That cut, and everybody started to get two. 
It wasn't payment. You, can, you can't pay the pandemic for that kind of sacrifice. But it's an incentive. I'll pocket change, buy all this, buy all that, pay all passage in and between. All right. It went to four. All right. And we negotiated. It went to thousand. Negotiation was taking place to have money for the panis on the roads. Tuesday morning, a certain amount. Monday night, X amount. Mm -hmm. Tuesday night, Y amount. All that was agreed upon. Election was called early, and the only thing that stands is the thousand dollars. But this thousand dollars has come when they're ready to release it. We can't bullrag anybody for it. You have to wait until it come. This year is still longer because of the um, boy. The battle is bigger than that. This year is still longer to create a certain kind of confusion that is taking place presently. The bulk of the money, five million dollars, was released on the twentieth of October. 2016, mm -hmm. right? It was short of the, the, the monies that were spent earlier to accommodate the people from Tobago. So there was a, a meeting and the executive was divided. Some say, pay what you have. Some say, no, we're paying everything. And the majority agreed to pay everything. Mm -hmm. So we had to wait till we get from whatever means that shortfall to make up the money to pay the people the thousand dollars. When the past minister, Winston Gypsy Peters, cut the money to $800. Punch and Bago. Nobody asks where the money come from for Punch and Bago to put it back and make sure that the players get a thousand, eight hundred dollars from the ministry and two hundred dollars from to make up the thousand. Mm -hmm. Punch and Bago is always working in the interests of the membership. Right? But to sow the seeds of confusion, you know that there's always opposition and somebody against something. Punch and Bego cannot put their energies into Panorama and the thousand dollars of players. That will define the pan man. Mm -hmm. Punch and Bego have a bigger vision. The more the things we have in the pipeline, I tell you, we are globalizing, we are industrializing, and that is sending a ricochet effect in, in certain quarters of society, the influential quarters, and they feel that it shouldn't be controlled by the people who control it. The it, is, it has been said by in high, high quarters, you know, the government should pull away from these things and give it to the private sector and only be observers. It is the view of the current Pan Trinbago executive that this is a grab by private uh, by, by, of, by the private of sector course, of to take the advanced placement that Pan Trinbago has brought Pan yes. to yes. is what you're saying. Yes. Uh, Michael Joseph, the PRO is with me. We're going to come back and talk a little bit more about that, but then we're going to uh, redirect our conversation into the question of the panorama itself, the money and the contributions that will be paid and the things that's going to happen for this year, i.e. some categories and stuff like that. Going to come back and talk about that. The only new instrument of the 21st century innovation that is steel pan and we are talking from the mecca of, of Carnival and, and Steelman is Trinidad and Tobago. I'm speaking to the PRO of the organization that is at the top of this, talking about the innovations they have done and where they are now. Uh, two quick questions here in conclusion. Uh, my guest, by the way, is Michael Joseph. Michael, two quick questions here. The, those who were protesting said they have formed a truce with Pan Trinbago. Now, I am optimistic, optimistically saying that at least we have started talking. Uh, does that mean that there is a truce with a good uh, sun, sunlight at the end of it, or all of this will be revisited right after this carnival? Uh, when we, we um, people of the Pan fraternities are family, mm. right? Nobody have the love for the instrument. And nobody feels it as them. Regardless of what people say, who feels it knows it. A pan person is a pan person, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. um, when people sow seeds of discontention, when people sow seeds of discontention mm -hmm. among your family, you just do everything that is necessary to bring your family back in line together. And this is what we thought we were doing. We we're doing that. But um, the family has a structure. Mm -hmm. A legitimate structure is not mobocracy. People just run and say, oh, move up there. That's stupid talk. Mm -hmm. we, 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 go there. Mm -hmm. we have a structure. And um, membership voted us in in a particular way for three years. Right? Long before I came in at that level, I've been hearing everything about every president of Panjim Bego. Everyone from George Gallup, Sidney Gallup, come right back down. Everyone. Right? Mm -hmm. But in my case, 
they brought in the present president, Mr. Keith Diaz, and then they vote me in and say, you have to work with this gentleman. Mm -hmm. right? The gentleman and I, like everything else, teeth does by tongue. <laughs> so he and I wouldn't agree all the time, and so with all the other executive members. So we just lock horn at times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But our thing is to mm -hmm. work together. That's what they put us there to do. Mm -hmm. And if I want to have my way, they'll come down on me. Just if the president wants to have his way, they'll come down on him. These are domestic matters. We could deal with that. When the time comes, you vote them out again. You ever see anybody run up by White Hall or White House and try to get rid of uh, the, the government and say, oh, they move from here, oh, they go from here and take over? What is that? <laughs> Mabakrasi. We, are, like we have a serious, <laughs> we are serious organization. Some people take us for granted, but we mm -hmm. have a serious organization. All right. And the, very soon we will be getting to the bottom. The, whatever comes out of the discussions that are currently going on with Pantrimbego and the NCC vis-a-vis -vis the collection of the tickets, the handling of the money, and so on, that will not in any way affect um, what is going to happen for the Panorama this year, will it? No, it cannot. It no, cannot. It cannot. We, it will we not. Okay. doing what we are custom hmm. doing. The other areas we negotiate, and, 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 and handle it out, fan it out as we go along. I guess. But I want to give mm -hmm. the people the, the, the real um, deal here for the, the Patrons to Panama, NLCB National Panama Festival mm -hmm. semifinals can enjoy reduced prizes to the event. Now we hear what it is. NLCB National Panama Festival. We have done a rebranding with the, the Panama. Mm -hmm. It's no longer just, just Panama. It's the National Panama Festival. Right. Right? In this way, we're looking to make it what it should be. And the NFCB within, is the National Lottery yes. Control Board. Yes. And mm -hmm. within the festival, within the festival, there, there's this competition. There's this competition within the festival, but it's a festival. Mm -hmm. So we set up all the necessary structures yes. to make it what it should be. When the tourists come down here, they come down for a show. We, the Greens, the North Greens, we're looking at... Um, well, it might not happen this year again, the way time is upon us. But we're looking at having it established as not only on the semifinals, but have a theater where you could come in there and hear certain panis, certain mm. Calypsonians sing with the panis. Uh, make it a show, mm -hmm. you know? So these are some things. After taking into consideration several economic factors, the promoters have re reverted to its original price structure. Tickets for the North Stands will now cost $350. Mm -hmm. Grandstand two hundred dollars, with the North Greens at two fifty. The semi-finals, aka Savannah Party, takes place on Sunday, the twelfth of February, from nine a.m. Fifty-eight bands in three categories all perform their tunes for, of choice before the respective panel of judges. Early birds to all areas will receive free instant scratch lottery tickets, lucky seven, and ten x the money. 250 to the North Stand, 500 to the Grand Stand, and 1,500 to the Greens, mm -hmm. or a chance to win up to $200,000. So there's a big deal. There is, there is a, a package there for everybody. Unfortunately, I'm jamming up against my time. Thanks to NLCB. Thanks to, to the National Lotteries Control Board. Well, Pantrum Bego, Michael Joseph, I'm going to keep in touch with you because um, there is a lot to be said and, uh, and talked about with Panorama that we didn't touch this morning, but thank you for, t for going I, I straight into do, some man. of the questions I, 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 I threw at you because these are the, some of the things I believe folks wanted to get some clarity to you on. Thank you for um, making yourself available and being candid. I appreciate it. And any, particularly any, any time, brother. After, after coming in uh, from working late last night and having to go and work right now. Yeah, thank we, you so we much. I really through. appreciate this, it. Uh, we live it. This season, I had no sleep, you know. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> thank you so much. You're inside. You're inside brunch on 107.7.